Well, hello and welcome to another Faith, Philosophy and Life with me, Mr Shelton. Um, it's another lesson on our Sin and Forgiveness topic for our GCSE. I am going to look today at something called sacraments. And the sacrament is something which underpins really a lot of stuff that you do need to understand for GCSE. And, and certainly in, certain, in terms of Catholic teaching, it's really important to hold this. This is what a uh, possible thing that someone called Nick once says. Mm, yes, I'm just making up someone called Nick, but the phrase still stands. I do not find it easy to understand God. That is why I need help. Signposts to point me in the right direction. Some of the sacraments do this very well. So what I want you to do is I want you to think for a few moments about what you think a sacrament is based on this definition. And why it might be difficult to understand who God is or understand things about God. So I'm going to pause for a moment while you think about that and then we're going to have our cheesy intro music. So our title today is what is a sacrament? What's a sacrament? And our learning objective is to understand what sacraments are. Okay, now you do need your pen and paper. Uh, I'm not gonna replay the cheesy intro music because I'm sure you've got that already with you. So we're gonna understand what the sacraments are. Um, our literary objective is to read and share information. I wouldn't be sharing it for obvious reasons because you'll be watching this at home. Um, as always though, please do photograph everything and send it through to your teachers because we would love to see it. So a good outcome would be if you could identify the different sacraments. Great if you could describe uh, the Roman Catholic and the Church of England sacraments. And even better if you can um, explain the significance of the sacraments as well. So we've got a few cross-curricular links there that you're going to be doing some independent work. We're going to be listening for some information, joining in and uh, a Christian value there of hope as well. During today's session, um, I, I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently um, than the way I'd planned because obviously being at home, you doing a presentation to yourself, as interesting as that might be to your wall, uh, might not be the best way for you to get the information that you need. Um, there's a media clip, there's lots of information in the description below that you'll need to access as well. At least there's a grid there which you might choose to write out or download if you so choose. But let's start with a definition of a sacrament. So behind me then are four words. Okay, what I'd like you to do is to write a sentence using at least two of those words um, and that will help you identify what a sacrament is. So read those through and then write a sen sentence using at least So read those through and write a sentence where you've used at least two of those. So pause me now and then come back to me. Okay, so here we are. Here's something that you may want to uh, embellish your answers with. Uh, a sacrament is a signpost that points to God and helps us to better understand him. It's normally a ritual or a ceremony in which the Christian believes the Holy Spirit is present. So there you are, uh, just in case you needed any extra information there. Let's look at our next bit of information. So I'm going to play you a media clip here. Um, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you just to watch this. 
If you want to make any notes, um, do so, but we are going to come back to each of those in turn uh, with a fair bit of information attached to those as well. You may, if you're one of those pupils that always seeks to strive to do more, describe what happens in each sacrament as well, but really don't spend too much long on this because we are going to be going through each one in turn in a bit more depth. So uh, let's pin back your ears, let's watch this, and then you're going to come back to me.
So we said a good outcome if you could identify the different sacraments. And now you've got an overview of what they are. What we now need to do is we need to be able to, be able to describe them rather than just identify them. Identify them being, um, being aware of what they are. Describing them being the basics about what happens. So um, we're not doing a presentation, but what we are going to do is we do need to look at this. So what I'd like you to do in your books is to draw out this grid, or you can download it from the description below. And there is a uh, seven sacraments. So you're going to need to write the name of the seven sacraments down in the left-hand column, but draw a little picture, and you're going to need to identify two facts for each of the slides I'm going to go through with you. Now, I'm not going to read these out to you because you're perfectly able to read this yourself, I'm sure. Um, but I, I do need you to draw this table out um, because you're going to need to fill out information. If you do more than two facts for each, then you're going to get bogged down. You don't need that level of depth for an answer on sacraments. You just need to have an overview. And we are going to look at a couple of them uh, over our next couple of lessons, to be honest. Um, but this needs to be an overview for you anyway. So pause me now while you get that table drawn out or downloaded um, for you to edit or print. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go through some facts for you. So um, before we start on that table, there's some really key information here for you. The first one is that the Church of England, Protestant churches, only really have two sacraments. And they because they say there's only really two things that Jesus did with regards to these seven. Uh, the Catholic Church has seven sacraments. Okay, so there's seven things that Catholics would say teaches about uh, God. A really good grade nine definition, grade seven, eight or nine definition of a sacrament is what I've got next to me there. A sacrament is an outward sign of an inward and invisible grace. An outward sacrament is an outward sign of an inward and invisible grace. What that simply means is that a sacrament is something that happens externally to you that shows a change that happens internally to you. A sacrament is something that happens externally to you uh, which shows uh, internal change, an internal change by the grace of God. Um, so any of these, there's something going on under the surface of the seven according to the Catholic Church. So we're going to look at this grid. I'm going to go through the information. I'm not going to read it through for you. So you'll need to pause it to get the information down. You need to write the name of the sacrament, draw a little picture, and then write two facts. And you'll see there's loads of information here. So there's our first one. So pause me now where you get any information down. The second one. As always, pause me. The third one. The fourth one. The fifth one. The sixth one, and the last one. So what we've done is we've said what the different sacraments are. We've described uh, the Roman Catholic Church of England ones. We know there's a massive overlap there. And we've started to explain the significance of them. So why is it these are important? And that leads us to this question here. And it's a C-style question for the EDUCAS exam board. That means it's eight marks, therefore it's eight minutes. Therefore you need two sort of point evidence explanation change, peak paragraphs. And uh, it, the question is this, explain two of the sacraments in Christianity. Simple as that, explain two of the sacraments in Christianity. Um, I've got some suggested quotes, but obviously you don't need to use those quotes. There are... Um, other sources of evidence and authority that you can use that you've just seen. Um, so it's eight marks, eight minutes. Give it a go and then come back to me. So there we are. That's your eight minutes, hopefully. And let's now see how we're going to mark it. 
So this is the marking grid from Educas. Uh, it starts with zero at the very bottom, which basically means you've not really answered anything. Then it goes to a band one, one or two marks, where it's limited. In other words, it's got some information, but it's maybe only a couple of sentences, and I'm sure you've done more than that. Uh, for a band two, it's good. It's a generally accurate uh, explanation. So you've used maybe two different um, examples of sacraments. Uh, both of which are generally acceptable and good. Maybe a couple of sentences, three sentences for each. That's three or four marks using some religious terms. For a grade th band three, five or six, it's very good. It's got generally got detail and it uses a range of specialist terms and sources of authority. So you've got to have some quotes or Catholic church catechisms or something like that within that. So obviously I'd always recommend that, that you do extra reading apart from these uh, outside of these lessons as well. And even better for a seven or eight, uh, it's excellent, it's highly detailed. So it's a couple of point evidence explanation change paragraphs, maybe some, some nice detail with that, with some source of authority and good use of religious terms as well. So maybe set yourself an even better if, maybe set yourself something there uh, to drive that on forward. Okay, so we're just really approaching the end of our session today. Uh, we've obviously met our objectives. I want to just now uh, spend a few moments doing a very quick plenary activity. Uh, so have a look at these pictures, have a look at these key terms in the middle and have a look at the uh, explanation on the right. Which ones can you match to watch? When you think you've got them, come back to me. So pause me now and try and work out which ones would you link to which. Okay, so our answers then are, there you go, that's baptism. Confirmation. You can't see that one very well, but that's the third picture down to the Eucharist. And finally, so there you go. Thanks very much for your time. Take care of yourself, stay safe, wash your hands, God bless you, and I'll be seeing you soon.